I think we're all created for a purpose and we're all created for reasons and we all have our unique purposes and we all have our unique reasons that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for. Um, so each one of us is unique in, in their own sense. So I come from a family, alhamdulillah, that's quite big and each one of us is very unique to the other and how we're contributing to the world or how we're doing to the world is so different in, in many ways. And I think it's acknowledging and realizing that, that okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for a purpose. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for a reason, but we also have a different uniqueness to that. And I think a lot of the times um, there comes pressure from that and feeling, okay, what is our uniqueness? What is our, um, how can we be productive in the best possible way that suits, for example, Fatima uh, or suits Nurhan? Um, and I think the first thing, and I say this to myself first, is actually being kind to yourself, is uh, acknowledging that it's okay um, to not always know the answer. It's not, it's not always um, I know all that you have to okay this is the way to it and it's lovely what Elias said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's, it's just a perfect perfect like only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is perfect and once we put that into mind it kind of eases the pressure on out of us um, and I think in a way we're and when we're created in this we're created in this world we'll not look at the results but rather on how we are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us on what we what we do so like our actions and how we take them but not the results of that and I think one of the main things is um, not following a certain structure that fits. So like, let's say, for example, being able to observe someone or someone giving you tips on like, OK, this is the best way that you should be productive. I think you should try and make it unique to yourself and suit the, your needs. So like, for example, we have someone who's quite who works really well in early morning. And then sometimes we feel like, oh, there's a pressure that all of us need to work on early mornings, but rather being OK, the fact that no, some of us work better at night, but not ensuring, not forgetting that there's key responsibilities within our deen that we must fulfill. So it's like, let's say, for example, that I'm not staying up at night and then missing Fajr prayer or missing the main necessities of what I need to do. 